I'm here today with Yamaya Kimmel of Yamaya's Apothecary at the Real Herb Market. We're going to get a peek into the herbal world that awaits at you at uh, Yamaya's Apothecary. Take it away, Yamaya. Hi, thanks for being here. Um, it's an honor to be here talking to you. Um, what would you like to know? So how'd you get into herbalism? Okay. Well, it was about, let's see, I always, I grew up in Miami and I was always fascinated by the plants that grew around me. Um, when I was 18 years old, um, I was given a book about growing herbal, an herb garden. And so I did that. I didn't really know what I was doing. I used a little of them in food, but basically I just wanted to see how many varieties of basil and sage I could grow at the time. <laughs> it wasn't until I moved to upstate New York shortly after that, this is about 22, 23 years ago, where the herbal path really started to open up for me. Um, that's when I met Susan Weed and I got it, um, an opportunity to work with her um, at some work exchanges and some moon lodges on her property. Um, the Wise Woman Center in New York, amazing place. Um, and I got to attend some workshops there. And then um, at the same time, I was living on this really beautiful piece of land in the Schwankunk Mountains. And so it was around that time that I started to learn how to identify the plants that grew around me. And I started to experiment with making herbal concoctions. Um, and then after that, I ended up uh, teaching a drumming workshop at the Women's Herbal Conference, which Rosemary Gladstar used to put on in New Hampshire. And so there I met um, Rosemary, of course, and Janine Parvati Baker. And it was those three wise women, Susan, Janine, and Rosemary, that really were my biggest inspirations in starting on my herbal path. And so shortly after that, I became a parent and really started getting into natural health and wanted to learn everything that I could. Um, and then about 18 or so years ago, we moved out to beautiful Northern California and I started taking classes and really just started making a whole bunch of products and started to sell more, not sorry, not, didn't sell yet, started to give away more products because I had more than my family and I could use. And um, so it just sort of evolved into a business from there because herbalism, it was, it was really to, to fuel my obsession with herbs that was initially how it started and um it's really herbalism is my way of life it's a spiritual path for me so it just made sense to evolve it into a business so i could spend more time you know with the plants and have an sure. excuse to immerse myself in it so what's the story behind your shop then or is that kind of part of it that's part of it um really yeah i just started making more than i could use for my family and then people started asking me if i would sell products um, so I started doing, you know, holiday craft markets and in 2018, I graduated from, um, the Herbal Academy's entrepreneur course. And so that gave me the tools that I needed to go from herbal hobby herbalist to herbal business. All right. And so what products do you typically make? Um, all different kinds. I have, um, fire ciders, a really popular one. Do you want me to show you some of them? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm always making different types of fire cider, uh, just depending on the seasons and things like that. And so this one is really special. It's called California cider. Um, it has all of the basic fire cider herbs, but I also put California bay and redwood needles in it. So if you want a taste of California and you like spice, this is your. Yes, yeah, so I think you your, sent what you sent one of those to us. I did. Yes. Did you guys get a chance to try it? Well, not yet. You know, okay. you know, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, that's okay. You will. And it's fine. Um, I also make, um, let's see, I make tinctures, a lot of simple tinctures. Everything that I make, I try to harvest myself as much as possible, either from my garden or from the land, you know, around me. Um, and so when I'm out there, I'm connecting with the plants. I'm singing to them. I am you know, offering them prayer and song and gratitude. And so I feel like all of that energy goes into the products. Um, and then whatever I can't harvest myself, I try to get locally first. So when you're buying from me, you're also supporting not just my small business, but other small businesses as well. Um, and one thing that's also really popular that I do is the herbal elixirs. So I have tinctures and I have tincture formulas. 
And then I have elixirs, which are basically kind of like tincture formulas, but they're in brandy and honey or sometimes chocolate syrup. And so these, I think that they're really, I think people like them because they taste good. They have some medicinal qualities, but um, you know, some of them like the love potion, for example, is just really for fun. You can use it as a cordial um, or you can just, you know, you can use it as a tincture or you can add it to other things. And so I think people like, they're more likely to take their herbs when they taste good. So <laughs> I like to have the elixirs for the hesitant people, you know. So what kind of experience can you expect uh, from when I, like when I buy from you or someone from the herbal market buys from you? Hmm. Well, you can always, first off, you can always ask me anything you like. Um, that is the first thing. I really try to make myself available to people um, either before you buy or after you buy, even if it's months after you buy, because I want you to feel confident and use your products. Um, I also, if you're not sure what you need, I love talking about herbs. So, you know, we can get together and have a conversation and dialogue about what it, your needs are. And then I can, you know, help you sort of select a a, a product or a group of products that would work for you. And I also um, can do custom blends and things like that as well. Great. Well, I'm not, I mean, you, you, you've heard from you, you've heard from me, you've heard from all these, you know, from all the people you've been with, but there's a testimonial we have and it's from Emily. And Emily says, Yamai is an educated, professional and personal businesswoman. She treats her clients like family, providing the best services that are right, reliable, safe and evidence-based. So, so sweet. Right. Okay. Is there anything else? Um, no, I just, I'm really honored to be a part of the herb market and I look forward to, you know, connecting with you and talking about herbs. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all right. So pop over to Yamaya's Apothecary at the Real Herb Market to get your hands on some of Yamaya's amazing herbals at Amaya's Apothecary today.